Hey guys! <laughs> it's been a little, little while since I made a video, like I say in every video, um, but you guys know it's been the holiday time and uh, hopefully you guys had wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holidays. Hopefully you guys got lots of awesome presents and um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully the holidays have been great for you. They definitely have actually been very great for me, so I'm very, very fortunate for that. But anyway, I have I have just been focusing on my dolls like crazy for this last week or so. Um, but I haven't had a lot of time to actually make videos. Um, but <laughs> I have quite a lot of things that I want to go ahead and update on. It's quite a lot of stuff. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make quite a few videos, probably like three or four separate videos, talking about some different stuff. Um, but... <laughs> In this video, I'm sure you guys already know exactly what I'm going to be talking about, and that's because he is in the video right now, right in front of you, <laughs> and that is, ooh, <laughs> that is that the new version of Shu is all here and has a face up and is put together and oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, I am just, just like so over the moon excited, just so happy. You guys don't even know, I'm like, Cheshire Cat grin over here. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, my Soom Saren uh, arrived a little while ago, and of course for those of you guys who have watched my previous videos, then you guys already know, but <laughs> my very very first doll that I ever got was my Kroby doll Camille, and he used to be the previous shell of my character Shu. Um, and I did really love that that doll, and I loved him as that doll, but I realized that I needed to... that he wasn't working exactly for what I wanted to, um, for proportion reasons um, amongst some of my other dolls, and also I wanted, I wanted him to be a little bit more mature and reflecting a sort of different period of time in his life. Um, and it was a really difficult decision to come to again because, you know, that was my first doll and it was a really important character to me and a lot of people really love that, that doll. So it was a very difficult decision to come to, but I, in the end, I did decide to reshell him. And the timing worked out really perfectly that right around that time, Soom had released their mermaid dolls, um, Saren and Rico. And <laughs> I just felt such a super, super strong connection to that sculpt. And I realized that I thought it would be absolutely perfect for the version of Shu that I wanted, um, ideally that I wanted. And so I took a really big gamble and I decided to go for it and, you know, see how it would work out. And... <laughs> I am a really, really nervous, anxious kind of person, and I will admit that <laughs> waiting and just wondering whether or not it would work just sort of was just eating away at me. It was just a really, really hard process, you know, when there's a character that you love so much, and the whole process of reshelling is, is really taxing, I think, because um, you never know exactly how things will work out and whatnot. And for me... <laughs> I, uh, I'm super, super cautious, and I try to plan everything out, like, methodically as possible, and there's a certain element within dolls that you can never account for. You never really know if a doll will work out for you until you actually have it in your hands, um, and that is so frustrating to me, <laughs> needless to say. But anyway, yes, yeah, so my Soom Saren arrives, and I did a face-up on the open-eyed face, which I had intended for Shu, and I, he's actually borrowing uh, my You Know Assist uh, Fire's body right now, just because it's the only normal skin body that I have, uh, MSD size body that I have right now. <laughs> so he is borrowing that body for right now, because I wanted to see him all put together and just really get a feel for him, like, you know, how he suits the character and whatever. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I I just have to say that, like, I am just so, 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 so happy that I decided to take that gamble. And 
I, I never thought that I would love this character or this character as a doll more than I did before. And it's it's crazy because I do. It I love this version of Shu so much. It's ridiculous. Every time I see him, I just smile like <laughs> like yeah, I just smile like the Cheshire Cat over here. I just love him so 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 much and it's crazy every time I look at him I see a different expression that just it, it, just, it just captures the different sides of his character so well like I look at him and I see the sort of like pensive and like anxious sort of side to him but I also see you know just the tender and happy and innocent side to him as well it's 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 crazy just how much life I how, how much life the doll has and how much of the, his personality I see in the doll. And like I said, I loved his previous version too, and there were definitely aspects of his character that, you know, really, I think, shone through. But... <laughs> but now that I see him in this form, it's just... It just takes my breath away, like, how perfect he is and how well he, like portrays his character. It's it's crazy. I just, I'm just rambling and I don't really know the words to explain everything, but he is just so, so perfect and I'm so, so happy that I actually decided to take that gamble and trust my judgment even though it was kind of a rash decision. I'm so, so, so glad that I decided to do it because I love him so, so, so much and it feels amazing. <laughs> He is just so perfect in like every way and it's just like ah, I just want to cry. <laughs> oh, I'm being so silly but yes I adore him so 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 much and of course you can't really see him super well in this video because my video camera really sucks um, but if you guys do want to see some like better pictures of him um, then definitely go check out my Flickr which I will link in the description. Um, but yeah I... <laughs> I am just over the moon with him. He is just so perfect. It's crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I still have to get a body for him, his own body, which I do plan on focusing um, and getting that as soon as I can, although my funds are going to be really pretty limited, I think, in the next year. I'll have to see. Um, but I definitely do want to prioritize that because I love him so much and I just I want to have him complete. Oh! Um, <laughs> fangirling over here. But yes, um, there's a few things that I think I will change, like, to his face up and whatnot in the future. Whenever I decide to redo it, there's a few things that I think I'll do a little bit differently. But even still, <laughs> his, I love his, the face that he has right now, and he's just, I don't even want to touch him, he's just too perfect. <laughs> but anyway, I, there is one sort of thing that is kind of sad though, and it's, it's hard to explain. I absolutely love, 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 love him as this doll, and I think he's so perfect as this doll. But there is still the same issue that I had before, and you can't really see exactly what I'm talking about because he's not in this video. But for the, those of you guys who do watch my videos, and you guys know my characters semi-well, and you guys know that my other doll, um, my Bambi crony Emily, whose name is Etzel, um, is very, very important to Shu here. Uh, they are, I guess how you would say, romantic. Um, they're very, very important to each other in their lives. And <laughs> it's really important to me, I think. Being in the doll hobby, I've realized that having my doll characters that are a big part of other characters' lives, you know, like their husband or wife or child or lovers, that sort of thing. When I have characters that are like that, I really want them to have that sort of connection in doll form, or else it just seems really weird to me. If they don't feel complete or um, where I want them to be if they don't have that sort of chemistry, if that makes sense. And that was a big reason why I decided to part with the previous version of Shu, was because I didn't feel that aesthetically and proportionately and chemistry-wise, I didn't feel that he really suited 
um, Etzel very well. I didn't feel like they suited each other very well. And unfortunately, it's it's so hard for me because I adore this version of Shu, and you guys know that I adore Etzel as well. I love those two dolls so, so much. I love them so much separately, but I still don't really like them very much together, and I'm just in this, like, such a weird place, I think, of feeling, like, so, so, so happy, and, like, just overjoyed, and have so much excitement and love, and yet at the same time, I feel a kind of, like, a little bit of a heartbreak, and, you know, in the back of, in the back of my heart, I just feel really, really sad, because I just love these two dolls so much, but... I just don't feel like they really work the way that I want them to together, even still. So yeah, I, I'm i not making any rash decisions whatsoever. I'm going to take a lot of time, and maybe I'm just being overly dramatic and I'll like the way they look in the future. I'm definitely going to take more pictures and stuff like that of them and really get a feel for it, of course. Like I said, I'm going to take my time immensely on this decision, whatever I decide to do, because again, I love those two dolls. Um, but I might have to make some more changes in the future because I really, it really is very important to me that my characters like work together if they're important to each other. And they really, you know, capture a sort of chemistry. But like I said, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be taking quite a long time my decision, um, and you know. <laughs> I definitely want to focus on getting Shu his new his own body, and also I had always intended to get Etzel a new body as well. So I think that that will probably really help me with my decision, whatever I decide to do. Um, but I want to give it more time and really, you know, see exactly what things I don't like as far as them, and what things I think could change. It could just be a face-up thing. You know, there's a lot of different things that could impact the way that I feel, so I'm definitely going to give it a lot, of, a lot, a lot of time. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and, like, you know, just tell you guys right now that I, that it's a bit of an issue, and, um, after having my experience with Euclid and Faustus, having that, like, immediate, you know, like, snap connection between them, after not feeling that between Etzel and Shu yet again as dolls, it, it's just quite concerning, so I just thought I'd go ahead and share with you um, how I'm feeling, of course. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to stress that I'm not making any rash decisions any time, and shoo, I don't... <laughs> of course, it's too soon to say, obviously, and think, you know, your, your thoughts change and your feelings change. But I love shoo this, in this version so, so, so much. It's ridiculous, and I have the feeling that I don't think he'll ever leave, so... I shouldn't say that, of course, because, again, things change, but I just feel so strongly connected to him. It's crazy. So, yeah. Anyway, I am rambling. This video has gone on quite long enough. I just wanted to go ahead and show you Shu and just sort of tell you about him and whatever. And, again, if you guys want to see some better pictures of him that aren't my crappy, stupid video camera, then definitely go check out my Flickr. I'm posting a lot of pictures of him there. Um... <laughs> But yes, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some other things that have happened in the doll hobby and new things that I've received and whatnot. So I'm going to make some more videos. But thank you guys so, 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 so very much for listening to me ramble. And yeah, just love him so, so, so much. <laughs> Bye.